In the series of learning programming in C, we have discussed loops, for while and do while loop as well as break and continue statements, right? Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about nested loops. Basically, what is need of using nested loops? What is this nesting of loops? Why you need, why you, uh, you know, do a nesting of loops in your program, right? And basically, we will uh, see nesting of for loop in this video, right? We will we'll also see nesting of while loop, nesting of do while loop, but in later videos. So nested for loop I will be talking about in this video. Everything about nesting of loop, nesting of for loop with their syntax, general syntax with working of that nested for loop with the help of flowchart as well as with the help of a program, right. And some other important points about nesting of loops that also we will discuss, right. So now let us discuss nested loops in C. First of all, we will discuss what is need of you, the, these nesting of loops in C, the reason, right, the requirement of these nested loops. Then we will see, then we will discuss what is nested loops, for nest, uh, nested for loop, nested while loop, nested do while loop, right, then you will get it better. So see, let us take one example. If on a screen you want to print, print suppose a star, one star. Simply what you will write, here you will simply write printf and this one. Obviously you know, you will write the complete program, header files, void main and within main function you will write this, uh, this thing, this printf. It is not like that just write down this, this line and you will, uh, you will be able to print this star, right. Now, okay that is it. Now I say I want to print 5 stars, this line. Now how you will print? Now maybe you are smart enough, what you will do in printf we will write 5 stars. Okay fine you can print 5 stars by this method also. Now I say print 50 stars, 100 stars, 1000 stars in this line. Then I think it would not be you know good to write down 1000 stars in this printf and you, you cannot write, right. And if you write then it is not a good practice, right. So now what you can do? Here we will, we will use loops. If you want to repeat something, then we use loops. I have already discussed introduction to loops in that video. What is need of loops? If you want to execute some set of statements repeatedly, multiple times, then put those statements in loop rather than just writing multiple times those statements, right? Here I want to print 5 or 50 stars, then maybe you, you can write one printf and 50 stars here or maybe you can write five, 50 printf statements but that is not a good idea, right. So better to put this printf because I want to repeat this printf, this statement multiple times or here five times. So better to put this statement in a loop, here I am using for loop because I love for loop. You can do it with while or do while also. So simply we take, I hope you know the syntax of uh, for loop. Here initialization one variable will take i less than equal to 5, 5 times I want to repeat, I want to repeat this statement and then i plus plus, right and that is it. If you run this then you can print this star 5 times, 1050 times then you can see you can write down here 50, just you need to update this thing, 500 times then you can write down here 500, that is it, right. Or if you do not want to you know update this thing in your program at compile time. So what you can do another method is here we can take i less than equal to n and at the runtime you can ask from the user enter the value of n and if you enter 50 then it would be repeated 50 times. If you enter 500 then it would be repeated 500 times right that is another way. But here suppose I am doing that hard coding I am simply here I am writing 5 right. Now see. Okay, now you can print this using this, I have used a loop here. Now I want to print these stars, these lines should be 5 or 10 or 6, suppose like this. Now I, I want to print these 5 stars, how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times, 6 line. Now what you will do? One method is, because see using this for loop, using this process, I can print this line 5 star, right. Now maybe you can uh, do for this line, this loop for this line, another for loop for this line, another for loop, maybe you can write 6 for loop, right. 
but that is also not a good practice suppose i want to print i want that the number of lines should be 50 so it's not like that you will write 50 for loop here right that is not a good idea so now what you can do here see pay attention here what you are doing you are going to repeat this line this line six times one two three four five six right so here also you are repeating something repeating means you can again use a loop for repetition right now for printing this means you want to repeat this process the printing of these five stars this process you want to repeat six time and this is what means this process you want to repeat six times because using this process only I can print these five stars in, a, in this line in one line right so I want to repeat this process six times so put these statements all these statements this process in a loop and that's it because obviously we put what whatever you want to repeat what statements you want to repeat we put those statements within a loop and I want to repeat these statements so put these statements within a loop again right so now what you can do here simply write so this was the process so put this process in another four another loop I am using a, again for loop so here also the what is the syntax you have to take another variable i we have taken so we cannot take i again take another variable name you can say j or anything a b c but mainly uh, with the loops we use i j k because i j k these are three girlfriend of uh, girlfriends of this loop right now i is equal to one i less than equal to now how many times you want to repeat this process one two three four five six less than equal to six sorry here we have j j less than equal to six and j plus plus and put this complete process into this outer for loop this one right so this is what nesting of loops what is nesting we are using loop inside another loop so loop inside loop that is what known as nested loop or nesting of loops so basically now you, you are clear why we are using this nesting of loops basically when you want to print these type of patterns or uh, with matrix or 2d arrays multiple dimensional arrays we are going to use these loops nesting of loops right so now what is the process c now process c first of all i am not writing the complete program j we have a j value is 1 right 1 is less than equal to 6 true control will enter here first step is this one then we are going to check the condition then third step is we are going to enter now in this again we have one variable i i is 1 right is 1 less than equal to 5 yes condition is true again we are going to enter here right I guess you can write down the numbering in, the, in those steps I am just explaining the working now here what is there printf a string now star will be printed right now what we will do what is the working of loop we are not going to go to this j plus plus why because we are inside this loop now so now control will go to i plus plus now i becomes 2 condition true yes again enter again print star again i plus plus 3 condition true again it will print i4 condition true again it will print i5 condition true again it will print i6 is this condition true no now control is going to exit from the loop now where control will go we are still inside the outer loop so now control will go to here j plus plus now j becomes 2 is this condition true yes again control will enter into the slope now again i becomes 1 right now again i would be initialized to 1 right 1 is less than equal to 5 yes condition true again it will enter here right and it will print c it will print star here only but i want to print this in separate line so what you can do here after this uh, this for loop inner for loop here you can just write down print f for a new line we write slash n and after that's it now once control will exit from this i plus plus after printing this five star control will go to this line the statement which which is written immediately after this for loop that is slash n slash n means cursor will come here right 
now j plus plus right now j becomes 2 again condition true i becomes 1 again this process would be repeated right now again this would be printed here the second line right after exiting this again slash n now control will come here in the third line now j plus plus now j becomes 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 6 is also true so 6 times when i becomes 1 sorry the j becomes 1 then this line would be printed then j becomes 2 then j is 3 4 5 and j is 6 right now this this outer loop is what i hope you are getting outer loop is what to print these lines how many lines six lines but actually you are printing this star within this inner loop now how many times you have to print star within this line five times so that is why that will do the inner loop will do the printing of the star if you want to print the star 10 times so here 10 times then you have to update here i less than equal to 10 if you want to print these stars in a line 50 times then here 50 but here suppose you want to print the number of lines should be 10 then in which loop you are going to update in outer loop because these lines number of lines are taken care by this outer loop and actual printing would be done with this inner loop now i hope you got it right now see if j is 1 then how many times then this inner loop would be executed 5 times j is 2 again it would be executed 5 times right j is 1 1 2 3 4 5 5 times j is 2 1 2 3 4 4 5 inner loop would be again 5 times so now outer loop would be executed here 6 times and inner loop would be executed how many times 6 into 5 that is 30 times right i hope you uh, now got the working of this nesting of loops right now see the flow chart of this working of this uh, loop we will see many programs printing the pattern program we will see using that ide also now what is the working here you can say here you can write start also this is what this is outer loop right and this is what inner loop or you can say this is external loop this is what inner loop right or general syntax if you write let me write down first of all the general syntax for here i think you can write initialization condition and then that uh, increment or decrement or update or modify this upper arrow means increment or down arrow means decrement i hope you can write down it you you should write down it proper i am just write down, uh, writing down uh, you know uh, small forms because i don't have space now it's not like that directly you have to write down other, another loop here it, it depends on your requirement right here you can write down some set of statements also right maybe some printf statements or if else block anything you can write down and after that you can write down for loop that is also nesting of loops it is not compulsory after within this loop just directly you have to start another for loop no before this for loop you can write down some block of statements then you can write down this for loop right now suppose i am writing here inner for loop initialization condition increment or decrement right this is what uh, inner loop statement block right and here suppose after this i am writing some statements uh, that i am i am calling outer loop statement block and that's it this is what general syntax of nesting of for loop now what is the flow chart of this thing see this is what first of all we are going to check outer loop loop condition if outer loop condition is not true then we are not going to enter into this loop and this loop will never get executed right if this condition is false then it's not like that we are going to exit from all the loops no if this condition is false inner loop condition is false then we are going to exit from inner loop only still we are left with outer loop that increment or decrement outer loop iterations we are still left if the outer loop condition is false then only we are going to exit from both the loops right so this is first of all we will check outer loop condition if this is true then maybe you can write here some statement of blocks or i am not writing these here so first of all now we will check inner loop condition right if inner loop condition is also true then here what 
inner loop statement block sb means statement block this would be executed right after that after executing of this what will happen control will go to increment or decrement or here you can say i'm just uh, writing update expression after updating again check what inner loop condition not outer loop condition we are still in inner loop right and if inner loop condition is false then where control will go if this condition is false then control will go to outer loop statement block first of all so now here what outer loop statement blocks would be executed whatever you write there right after this one what now this update modif update or modify expression of outer loop so here update expression of outer loop here you can write update expression of inner loop right after updation now what will happen now it is going to check the outer loop condition again if this condition is true again this process would be followed if outer loop condition is false if this is false then we are going to exit from both the loops here suppose after this i am writing after these loops i am writing statement abc so now control will go to here to the statement abc or statement x or and you can write here so this is what i guess, i guess um, you got the working of this loop with the help of flow chart i can i, I guess you can draw this flow chart now right now see some more important points about nesting of loop is what nesting can be up to many levels four within this another four within this four one more four one more four 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 you can do nesting up to multiple levels many levels as per your requirement second point is it's not like that you can nest, you can do nesting of same loops no you can do nesting of different loops also like if you are writing here four within this four i can write while loop within again this while loop i can write do while loop right so one type of loop we can do nesting of different different types of loops right i hope you are getting my point third is what it is also you know a case that in this for loop i can write down one for loop is this another for loop another for loop another for loop 1 2 3 4 5 as many for loop as you want that is not nesting means that is not multiple nesting one for loop here writing here i am writing one for loop and another for loop the third for loop i am writing i am not writing that for loop within this inner one i am writing here this is one block then second block for second for loop third block for third for loop this can also be a case this can also you can write down here also you can write down some statement here also you can write down some statements right so now i hope you got what is need of nested loops in c and you got nested for loop here the working right now in next video i'll be talking about nested while loop in c and we will see that thing you know uh, with a proper example with the proper program right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care